Now look, based on Netanyahu's track record and his plans, do you think he should stay in the job? Well, most Israelis actually do not uh, think he should stay in the job because uh, approximately three quarters of the voters are not going to vote for him. The one quarter or so of the voters will probably give him enough power to form a coalition with other uh, slates, ad other uh, parties. But he, uh, as Paula just said in her uh, report, he is not uh, very likable. And uh, the problem is the opposition is not uh, unified and there is no other candidate um, who could uh, attract enough votes to beat Netanyahu. Well, you mentioned he, he isn't uh, particularly popular at the moment, but why are his right, uh, his right wing supporters turning their backs on him? Well, the, the Likud party um, is not really right wing in Israeli terms uh, right now. It is uh, a bit right of center. And uh, the fact that it has created uh, a sort of a merger with Avigdor Lieberman's uh, Israel Beitenu, uh, which was supported by uh, many Israelis of Russian extraction, uh, has turned off some voters. And many of Lieberman's uh, voters has also, uh, have also turned away from uh, this party. To the right of Likud Beitenu, there is another party led by Mr. Naftali Bennett, and he is a, a 40 years old, uh, quite attractive uh, Israeli to the uh, new generation. So uh, he may be Netanyahu's uh, major partner in the uh, new coalition, but if he is uh, the new partner, then um, Netanyahu will uh, probably be on a collision course with the Obama administration. So it's going to be a very tough month ahead for coalition forming, and this may not be the last election campaign uh, we may see here in the uh, coming year. We may have a period of unstable parliament, unstable government, and new elections. Well, uh, a major issue, isn't it, is the two-state solution uh, to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, that seems to be in a shambles, and Netanyahu wants more settlements. So how is that affecting his image at home? Well, I beg to differ. Uh, it is uh, perhaps in shambles right now because there is no initiative uh, coming from either Israel or outside of it. However, uh, once President Obama, who has just been inaugurated for his second term, once he comes out with uh, a major diplomatic uh, initiative, with uh, Secretary of State uh, John Kerry, who is for such an initiative, then most of the Israeli public may turn against Netanyahu, against uh, his own prime minister, if he tries to torpedo such an initiative. The silent majority in Israel wants a solution, and the only possible, the only practical solution is the two-state solution. So we may yet see, within the next year or two, some breakthrough towards such a solution. Well, let's uh, stay on that topic because, uh, you know, U.S. President Obama and the Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, aren't getting along with Netanyahu now pressing on with more settlements. Isn't there a risk, do you think, Obama will throw Israel under the bus, to use the words of the uh, former Republican candidate Mitt Romney? Well, as uh, you say, former Republican candidate Mitt Romney, on whom uh, Netanyahu uh, uh, put his bets, in the elections, Netanyahu lost as well as Romney. Um, President Obama definitely did not throw Israel under the bus. President Obama, if uh, at all, is considered pro-Israeli, even though he has anti-Netanyahu. The two are not synonymous. Netanyahu is not Israel. He is the current prime minister, but his policy vis-a-vis -vis the Palestinians and vis-a-vis -vis the United States, the major benefactor, perhaps the only benefactor Israel has, this policy is not supported by the majority of Israelis. So if we are going to see a clash between Netanyahu and Obama, uh, then Netanyahu will not be supported by many people in Israel. And then again, you may see new elections, early elections. All right, well, let's talk about Iran. War mongering with Iran certainly seems to boost approval ratings for the election. But how, how prepared is Israel for real combat with Tehran? Well, Netanyahu came to power four years ago um, 
vowing to end Iran's quest for nuclear power. Uh, he failed in that, but he was uh, mostly stopped by people from within Israel, from within the top ranks of the military, the intelligence community, as well as State President Shimon Peres. This was a very rare coalition of people who see the military campaign against Iran as a last resort, not um, as some gamble on, on a whim, as uh, Netanyahu uh, uh, is perceived to be doing. He cannot, even if he wins tomorrow, even if he wins um, next uh, uh, week or so, when President Peres confers uh, the coalition forming duty on him, even if he does win that, Netanyahu will not be able to say that he won a mandate for a campaign against Iran because this was not an issue at all in the campaign. Amir, thank you very much for your thoughts. That, that was Amir Oren, the senior correspondent and columnist for the Haaretz newspaper.